are with another episode of Tensura. And what are we? How many episodes are we in now? We are like five, four, five episodes in. And holy shit. Every episode is just meeting, meetings, meetings. Yep, 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 yep. We spent an entire fucking episode talking about a goddamn machine about how it can put up a barrier. And people want to watch this shit. And I'm just watching it too. And you guys get some enjoyment out of it. So it's like, all right, it's nice. It's nice. I just feel like, you know, can we get to the main plot? Like, I feel like we're in Slime Diaries or some shit right now. It's, it's not a bad thing, but holy shit. Like, an entire episode just yapping and yapping. Like, I swear to God. Are we going to get the first 24 episodes of this season? It's just yapping. And then the second core is where the hype is. Now, bad news is we ended last episode with a cliffhanger where the church scene was about to fucking start yapping, right? We got introduced to the executive council of the church. Hinata's there and they're about to start yapping cliffhanger. But the good news is I'm actually interested in this yapping. We've never really interacted with the church people, right? This yapping is actually going to be engaging. Let's begin today's reaction. Meeting of both sides. Oi, oi. Hmm? <laughs> For the chick who showed up late. Master Rug, Blue Sky Sad. Giant Boulder, Grigori. They're all Master Rook, some kind of title. Probably because you couldn't stop the resurrection of Velder. What the fuck were you doing, kid? Talking all that shit? Raging Sea, Glenda. I would say get the fuck up right now. Duel. Right now. You want to talk shit? Let's fight. Strength is everything. Let's fight right now. And if I win, you're fucking out of here. If, if I lose, which I probably wouldn't happen, then he can resume the fucking position. Paladin of Light, Renard. Paladin of Air. Is this guy gonna... What's his name? I keep forgetting a fucking name in our... Uh... In our, in our village, the other Kijin that has never fucking spoken. No, he does sometimes speak. Actually, last episode, Kurobe. Kurobe actually had a couple lines last episode. Is Bachi's never gonna talk? Is Bachi just gonna be like, hmm? Oh yeah, there is a dwarf brother who actually never talks, right? There is an actual Dwargo brother, right? Ymir to something, the Valdi? <laughs> is he gonna be... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'm behind! This is kind of creepy. What the fuck is he doing here, bro? Valentine, bro. Look at him. Uh, the, the big bro is fucking here beneath. Sorry. I mean, yeah, it makes sense why he would be there. He's the emperor, I guess. Duel me for it, though. Yeah. You're gonna talk all that shit. And then Hinata says, you know what? Fair. If you want to take my title, you, you beat me first. And he's like, fuck. Shit for no reason. What the fuck? Rita's Paladin of Water. Paladin of Wind. Fruits. Paladin of Fire. Nah, dude, this guy's not the Paladin of Fire. This guy's the Paladin of fucking Hairspray. How does he. Actually, his hair is actually nerfed here. It looks shorter than it is. The height, I mean. It's way taller before, bro. She was doing reconnaissance on that road. Yeah, the road we were on. Wow, so many people happy. Good person. Okay, she's confirming it. He's a good person. Entry into the sealed cave. Sealed cave? Where Veldor was initially, where we spawned in, in episode one, I guess. I thought... Do they think that Veldra is in the sealed cave still? When, when in reality, he's just like fucking around on a couch, just like reading manga. Is he always in the cave? Normally? And he only comes out sometimes? He's just laying low, right? They just don't know. Who's that? The Oracle is absolute. They can't speak shit against the Oracle, huh? What is the Oracle? Am I forgetting something? Who is the Oracle? Luminous? Is Luminous giving intel? It's not, you know, our Emperor either. Oracle. Why can't I remember? Is it just Luminous? The seven luminaries. God? It's just Luminous, right? Lumi it's, it's, it's just Luminous, right? Oh, oh, wait, he's talking, but they're not showing him talk. No shot. 
So like the yapping is too much, so they skip. Fuck you! I want to hear the church yapping. You think I wanted to hear the fucking oh this device sucks in the magic and you can use the anti magic barrier, but wait, you can take it up and it spins around. Wow, magical rose, anti magic barrier. Shut the fuck up! You should have done that there. And you gonna skip this shit? The stuff that I actually interested in? Bullshit, dude. They doing a fucking power and montage scene right now. That's some fucking bullshit. I can't believe they're doing this to me. Oh. Well, maybe I don't really give a fuck about Ingracia. Which is why I could- Wait, no, Ingracia's kind of interesting. I want to know what, you know, Guildmaster Yuki's doing. I want to know about the, the greatest hero of our current time. You know, Masayuki, the Flash. <laughs> それで僕の番だけど。あの時話を聞いておけば少し。あ、I don't know, something about... Mm, Glenda? <laughs> Who are you? Master Rook? <laughs> okay, Glenda. <laughs> oh yeah? Glenda versus the merchants. Wait, wait, what? Oh! I thought this is some kind of friendly banter, but that was the Master Rook side, right? They all look down on me. Why? Because she's too new? She rose up too fast. Were they all? Because, like, as soon as she came over here, right, she pretty much ascended super quick by defeating both Valentine's and Luminous's test, right, and everything. So I thought this is, like, casual, friendly banter, but it's like, nah, they disrespect her. Hi.暴風流ベルドラガ夫国は作戦行動中だったファルムスの軍勢のみ。ただしそれも so smart. Baldi, where are you at? Last time, he was like missing or something, but he just hasn't come back yet. Bargained with and pacified. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sworn friends. Sword friends, my bad. Yeah, he's just reading manga. So nobody actually has direct contact with Luminous, huh? Because like anytime the Oracle Kami Luminous is mentioned, everyone's like, right, on both sides, right? So like Luminous is almost like the Wizard of Oz. It's like behind the curtain, nobody really knows. And only Hinata, right? Basically, Hinata is like Moses or something. And every time she goes behind the curtains and talks to Luminous and she goes, The God has spoken her will or something, right? True. But the trailer! But the trailer! Round two! She had like butterfly wing transformation! What's gonna what's gonna happen? So right now we're insistent on chilling. Just back the fuck off. Leave Rimuru alone. But you know, round two eventually happens. Wonder what starts it off. I mean, what could you really do though? Okay, their title is officially the 10 Great Saints. This little kid fucking pisses me off. Do they really care about the humans? Or do they just care that it's monsters there occupying the territory? I don't know, because it's very anti-monster, right? The whole Luminism thing. But I really wonder if it's like doing for the sake of the humans or out of the pure hatred propaganda from the Luminism. Alright, you must listen to the oracle. Yom! Yom! She uses a gun? 
What is that? Yo, Glenda, what do you got packing over here? What is this? She got something strapped on here. <laughs> what is this? She got the fucking Glock? What? Wait, it, it looks like a pistol? It looks like kind of holster, right? What, what, what's going on here? Thank you, cameraman, for getting this important angle. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Fuck, 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 fuck. What are you even talking about? I'm, 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 I, I, I gotta read the subtitles. I'm reading Glenda's thighs right now. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, that's true. Ruberius and the Holy Church is different. That was the Western Holy Church's mistake. Western Holy Church is mostly Hinata and the existing paladins, as well as the Emperor, yeah. But Ruberius is more of the, you know, the great nation. It's, it's, this is Ruberius, right? And then there's like different factions, kind of. Like Western Church obviously exists within Ruberius, right? But notice how he's distinctively making, you know, this is your fault. You know, this is the church's fault. And now you're getting Ruberius, you know, wrapped up in it. So it, sound, it just sounds like they are very, the, the, the OGs, I guess. They have a lot of loyalty towards whatever existed before, before Illuminism took place. And that's why they're so against the paladins? I don't know. You're gonna take all the responsibility? She said that, right? I intend to proclaim that I was solely responsible. She's willing to go down? But who would punish her? Who? I, I, Luminous? But Luminous is on our side. Wait, wait, the people? <laughs> I, I actually love the church yapping right now. The church yapping is actually so interesting, right? Whenever we get completely new factions, new orgs, new characters, you're trying to figure out who are they? What are they like, right? It's, it's actually so much more engaging than... Oh, Rimuru-sama! Look at this! I have a new flavor of sake! No way! Okay. Yes. Do no harm to humans. Leave them alone. Title drop. Title, title drop, guys. She said it. She fucking said it. Well, she didn't completely say it. That time I got reincarnated as a slime fight. Close enough. What the fuck? She's so apologetic. Okay, this is great. This is absolutely great. Okay, she's too smart for this. Yeah, because like, I thought that she might still harbor some kind of like vengeance, some kind of like regret or some shit. No, she does harbor regrets, but it's like not in the way that I was uh, uh, assuming that she would. She's like fully aware, like, yeah, I got duped. I got fucking scammed. Eastern merchants, man. I feel like I did Rimuru bad. So this is great development for Hina. Eastern merchants. They said there was a monster using a human disguise to deceive neighboring nations. Well, <laughs> they're not wrong? Rimuru does have a human form. Are we deceiving them? We're not being completely truthful. Well, it's not like we're hiding that we're a slime either. We do show the slime form to the leaders, right? Gazel fucking knows, but it's, they're stretching the truth. Again, more stretching the truth. He, he, Rimuru did like eat up. Jizu, but she was already done. It was a show of mercy. <laughs> Look at this. Evil Rimuru. <laughs> Look at it. He actually looking like a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wonder if Rimuru is thinking about revenge. Probably not. But she's going to go by herself and apologize. But... Round two happens regardless. Maybe that's like a spar. Maybe that's not a real serious fight. But the fight looked pretty fucking serious to me. What could have happened? <laughs> they wouldn't attack Hinata like that. They, would, they, they, they straight up wouldn't. All, all of them would be like, oh my god, it's the fucking beauty. All the monster bros, bro, in, in our, you know, Dread Tempest Forest, they'd be all like, oh! Shit, who is this beauty? Gabiru would say something unhinged and probably sexually, you know, harass Hinata too. Hmm. Everything should go well, but the trailer tells me otherwise. I bet you could, but 
Like, what could go yep. wrong? Emperor. Yeah. No, Baldi, right him. Oh, he. F <laughs> Cause they were like, I thought some, some people were like, bro, got stuck in the fucking teleport portal. He just stuck there. He can't get past. That's why we've just lost all contact of him. No one knows where he is anymore, right? Because apparently it's like a portal, like a secret gateway to enter this place. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Eastern merchants? Who is this? What the f- Ooh, ooh, have we ever seen people like this? Who are you people? Yeah, are they angels? Oh no, I remember them! They were in the flash- Not kind of flashback. Hinata flashback during the whole trial to rise up, right? They were there, I remember. Yeah, what's their names? Seven luminaries. Yeah, I guess so. Everyone gets up. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Copy. What, what were all their techniques? This dead end rainbow, one of the techniques? I don't know, but all seven of them? Okay. And when you usurp something, uh, you steal it, right? So let me get this correct. Do we copy or do we steal? And yeah, dead end rainbow is a special effect of that sort. Usurp, when we do this, we're just copying. Got it, got it. But still, at the end of the day, devour or gluttony or now bills above. I still think that it's better. I still think that's utility wise, it's just better. But usurp is pretty fucking insane, man. <laughs> Are they here to be truth detector? No shit. Dude, oh, he, I feel bad for him, bro. He already has to show up here and lie out his ass in front of the entire church. Fucking, you know, the, the paladins, the fucking master rook, Hinata, the emperors behind. And then the fucking seven luminaries show up. Oh, no, bro. No, I already called him bald. I, if, if I've already seen the character bald before, I just stop. It's just like a, it's like a one-time thing. Their first encounter, I call him bald, though. <laughs> So we're telling the exact story? That guy's death was the funniest. This, this guy's, this guy's death is one of the funniest deaths. Fuck this guy, this megaphone looking ass. Oh, the fucking knights are here. We'll come back in seven days. I got this. Walks up. Immediately dead. Fucking pussy. But if Rahim is recollecting these memories as, you know, the story of Rimuru, isn't this basically like snitching? He is... Literally, this is not, like, he should have had a lie to tell, a different story, fabricated to make Rimuru look good, but maybe though, this, the truth doesn't look too good. They told him to tell the truth to Neta? Oh, it's intentional. It's intentional snitching. Rahim got told to Diablos, okay, so it's all part of the plan. This, we want them to know the truth. Why? What does Diablo plan if they know the truth? Some kind of intimidation tactic, like, yeah, we can fucking do this? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So, so Alright. No, I didn't know. I didn't know. I Sunlight magic, that grand. He's comparing Megiddo to sunlight magic? Hold up! <sighs> Technical difficulties. Battery sign up. Let's fix headset. Hmm. These guys are underestimating. So Megiddo is not magic. But it's physical? Is Hinata's deduction here true? I thought that anti-magic barrier was down at that area. The whole point was to secure the different pylons in Season 2, remember? Everyone secured it, barrier went down, then Rimuru kind of did the whole thing. But... Hinata is right, it's physical. Interesting. Megido is physical. Huh. Huh. Gotcha. Intimidate! This is intimidate! Shit, maybe it's not called intimidate. 
Maybe I'm getting it wrong with Sung Jin Moose power. No, no, no. This is something else. Fuck. Uh, merciless. Merciless. My bad, my bad, my bad. Merciless, merciless. Basically, if they give up, right, then they just, like, you extract their souls. It's done. Yo, the church people, they're all fucking shocked. Raheem actually is hyping this shit up. Yo, now I kind of see why Diablo wanted him to tell the truth about this part, right? To just like make, let him know like, yo, he is not someone to be fucked around with. All these fucking paladins and master rooks in utter shock. <laughs> Every time I see this guy on the right, the blonde guy, I think to myself, Leon Cromwell from Walmart. Budget Leon Cromwell. Leon Cromwell from Wish. Look at him! What are you doing? You can't win a fucking debate against Leon. Fuck you do with that long blonde dude. You're not platinum blonde, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Catastrophe. <laughs> Catastrophe. Is this just a random word she's saying? Is this some kind of tear of the, you know, danger this is? Luminous. It is a tear of danger, right? Wait, what? I couldn't let such a valuable food source as humans. All oh, right, because the whole point of Ruberius and the Holy Church is that, yes, we do take their blood. The vampires take their blood, but in a very maintainable way. Humans are basically bred like cattle, right? It's like Wagyu beef. They're just breeding them so to make sure that there's always a new supply, but not eating too much, you know, to make sure there's a balance. <laughs> Gee Crimson. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yeah, the Veldra lock is pretty funny, huh? Like, look at this shit. <laughs> He's so. <laughs> Something about this is so funny. Look at it. <laughs> look at these stubby little legs, bro. Look at them thighs, bro. Look at this shit. So, when you guys do Serena, a very dorato, Futari no Coxema, Desto, and Miriam Nava. Miriam Nava. The Luminous could have told you that, yeah. <laughs> So, are th is this implying that there was only two true demon lords? Gee Crimson, Milim? Because right now they were comparing the strength to like Veldra, right? But it's interesting how she brought up Gee Crimson and, and Milim because, you know, they got the huge souls, right? And yes, I know that Rimuru is now a true uh, demon lord right now. But okay, there's only two publicly known. Got it. Gi Crimson Millum. Now I'm starting to realize, okay, like the significance of a true demon lord even more. Because I thought like the other people at the Octogram, I didn't know, but I thought maybe like Dino or like, you know, the giant dude, Leon, I thought they might be true demon lords too, but they're not. Huh? They're all just demon lords by title. None of them have awakened as true. Huh? Interesting. Huh. Diplomacy. Stop trying to fucking fight them. You could be friends with them. This could be a good alliance. You know what? Why don't you team up and fight against the angels that you apparently hate? Yeah. Exactly! These people are so smart! Shut the fuck up, Leon Cromwell from Target. What are you fucking doing, bro? Get the fuck out of my face. Take him out of this. Does he? Who's that? Cut him off immediately. There he is. What's up? Wait! <laughs> You and me, 1v1, round two. Last time, that, that was fraudulent. You caught me my pants down. Anti-magic barrier. You got fucking extra fucking prep time. Nah, this time I'm different. Awakened, holy resistance, got new powers.
Fuck you. So, can I assume that the luminaries just did change the message here? I don't remember what he would have said this. I think that the luminaries might have messed this, right? They have to have, you know, messed this, right? Even Ray is like, this isn't part of the script? This is not part of the script? Diablo's gonna kill me! <sighs> Listen, bro, I, I don't know where, who the fuck you think is showing up in intenser this is 53 episodes in by the way 53 episodes you know three seasons you you really think that you are the one that's gonna take out the newest member of the octogram one of the three publicly known you know true team like really you you okay actually true the kid's actually right here this this cocky shitty kid he's actually right when the fuck did he just become so responsible hinata you should know that the message got tampered I thought that Hinata might be smart enough to, to be like, nah, Rimuru wouldn't say shit like this, but then it was a direct fucking message. Clearly the seven luminaries are doing this. Now, why would the seven luminaries tamper this? Because it's in their best interest to get rid of anything um, that could potentially harm human supremacy. Even if Rimuru's plays, the monsters are saying, we want peace of humans, but they're like, nah, we just want human supremacy is my understanding. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe the luminaries don't like the current structure of this place and believes in Rimuru? I don't fucking know. Yeah, that's the thing, right? He showed up so quick. As soon as we we're about to, you know, finish the meeting, bro, just like, whoa, hey, Rahim, you got that method still, right? Yeah. No, it's my responsibility. <laughs> you know, it really doesn't help that we can't see their face, but everything they're saying, oh yeah, we'll protect you. The luminism will protect you. Nah, it sounds like they are probably really salty at Hinata. Why? I don't know. Because she took their skills? Because she passed their test so easily? Because she shit on them before? I don't know, but the luminaries, bro. They're looking like a bunch of fucking clowns. New sword? Wait, he's not getting some new Excalibur? I want you guys to realize, like, how silly this is. If you think about how, like, people under their hood like like if you take their mask off it's just a bunch of fucking wrinkly old men they're all floating like this like they're cute fucking fairies just like try to envision that try to envision these cute little fucking floating things right they're just old wrinkly old men dragon buster yare, yare. dragon nava almost sounded like milim's attack pretty much it's probably in the Luminary's best interest if Hinata kills off Rimuru and Veldra and Hinata dies also. And then the Luminaries will be like, oh, thank God, all our fucking, the, the, the obstruction in front of us is gone, right? Is it really a Dragon Slaying Sword? Can you really kill Veldra with this? Is it that crap? No, I feel like if the worst comes to pass, the sword might just kill Hinata herself. Like, the luminaries, I don't think they like her at all. Like, what? I, I don't know, man. And that's only three of the seven luminaries. I have a feeling at some point that Dragon... Maybe during the fight... During the fight against Umuru, the Dragon Buster is going to start acting up when Hinata is about to lose. And it's going to, like, somehow, like, do harm to her. And Rimuru will probably build above some ship, save Hinata there. And then it's gonna come to light that the luminaries are against Hinata all this time, which she obviously knows. And then there'll be a great point of alliance. She can join in the fucking hot spring. You know, Shion will be there. Shina will be there. Mudan will be there. You know, and then the guys will be there and they'll be peeking at there. And it's like, oh, it's gonna be fun times. Like something like that. I, I think something like that.
What's up? Okay, she's going. Okay, this guy, I didn't really know what his role was. Chief Consul of the Parasi Cardinal. Nicolaus Speltus. All right. He was like a seemingly an important character, but he wasn't, you know, part of the Master Rook or the uh, Paladins. Chief Consul. Is there some? Is, is there something here? Is there something here? I don't know, just like last time. Those are flags. Those are flags. Is this a ship? Is this a ship? N Nikolaus and Hinata? Just like last time. Those are flags, bro! Oh, you shouldn't have said that! Alright, there's a big festival that's supposed to happen. Holy shit, Raphael, you're so quick with that! This is uh, Gabiru's sister. Gabiru's sister, right? Gabiru's sister, I think. Yeah, yeah. Four nights following. Were they luminaries? I couldn't tell. Were they luminaries? What did their face look like? I can't tell from this distance. Ah, come over here. 1v1 me, bro. What is that entrance, bro? Yo! So Wei's entrance was always slick because he's like always in the shadows. He just appears out of nowhere, but Diablo. Who killed him? Baldi, no! <sighs> I actually like Rayhim when he started to work with Diablo. He was actually useful. I thought that he could, you know, turn to the good side. They killed him? He actually tried his best. Like, he straight up tried his best. Then he got fucking duped by that luminary dude. What the fuck? They killed him? <laughs> Rimuru, where, where, where's the pain and sorrow? Remember when Rimuru showed up in season two back home after the Hinata fight and we saw, what was it, what? We saw Shion dead and we saw Gobuzo dead and Rimuru was like, I need a time alone. Boom! And then the power happened. Why did she do that for Rayhim? He's like, ah, no, I don't really care. It's like, I whatever, Bali's dead. All right, cool. They're antagonizing the demons as a scapegoat. Holy shit, that is so much yapping. Five episodes of yap, yap, yap. But this is by far my favorite yap episode. Episode five and episode one in order is probably my favorite yapping episode. Episode five because the church, man, the whole structure. The fact that these these paladins and then there's the master rooks and they're at odds at each other and there's Hinata who became, you know, the main person to answer on behalf of the Oracle and no one really kind of gets close to, you know, the Luminous except Hinata and obviously the Emperor and how they like disrespect Hinata because she's too new and, you know, rose up too fast and, and then the seven luminaries and all this shit, like this is pretty hype. It's great to see that Hinata is smart enough to realize that Rimuru means no harm, right? She, and she even regrets it. She's like, shit, maybe I should apologize. That's fucking great. I was wondering how they would continue the beef between the two. And I thought that she might just be vengeful. It's like, nah, this time I'll win. But it's more like, shit, I'm getting... I, Hinata is actually getting dealt a hand of cards that just fucking sucks, right? She's just doing her job and then the luminaries are just forcing all this shit to her. And she's like, fuck, I guess I gotta do it. Why are the seven luminaries so fucking important? I guess because they are at the core, the foundation of Luminism. I don't really know the relationship between Luminous and the seven luminaries, but if they suck so much, shouldn't Luminous like take them out? I don't fucking know, but it, we're just surrounded by these fucking cockroaches, bro. Sorry, these are flying insects. You know what? I'm going to declare the flying, you know, insects, these guys. Yes, you know how Luminous called the angels flying insects? These are also fucking flying insects, man. They fucking suck. Although, they kind of did it well in, you know, starting a war. Because, like, if they didn't change the message, if, if they didn't change the message of you know, Rahim's ball, then, like, this rematch would never happen, and everything would be resolved through diplomacy. And that's kind of boring. We don't want more yapping. 
we want more fucking fighting. And hey, five episodes of yapping, I think that we finally are going to get into some fucking action next episode. All out war between the Western continent and them is going to ensue. I don't know, but that's it from me. If you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. Until next time, take care.